Um, so now we will go over the very basic um, concepts in statistics, mostly summary statistics. But we will, um, sorry, it's actually the other one. We will um, take the ex post perspective. So we will only think about the realized values. So we will not think about distribution or anything. It's just numbers that you actually observe from the real uh, situation. So to be uh, specific, let's think of example. So this is the same example that we used in um, class, in some class actually. <coughs> Um, think about height of individual, height of um, each person of individual. And also height of their Matters. So imagine that we collect data on these two variables. So uh, perhaps we walk around the university and ask uh, each person in the university um, his or her, her his or her height and um, mother's height. So we collect some data and to use some notation, let's say x. Um, indicate uh, the first variable. So x1 is the height of the first person that you ask. x2 is the height of the second person that you ask. And you ask these questions um, to n people. n can be 100, for example. And for the same um, individuals, we ask mother's height. And we indicate this with y. So individual's height and mother's height. So this um, is our data. And given this data, we want to summarize uh, this information using some numbers. Uh, why do we need to summarize? Because we have, say, if n is 100, we have 100 numbers here. If n is 100, again, we have another 100 numbers here. So we have together about 200 numbers, and just reading each number will be quite time consuming and you wouldn't have good idea of what's going on here. So the purpose is we want to summarize the information included in this number. So for that purpose, we use summary statistics. So there are a few um, <coughs> important basic summary statistics. So the, the most basic one, of course, is the mean, the average. So for mean or average, and for mean and average or mean or average, um, we know how to calculate this. And using the same notation that we used before, um, let's call this e of x, so x is the variable we wrote down before, the individual heights. And e here just means that we are taking the average of this variable. 
And when you have n number, and of course this average, and can be written like this. So we just sum all the x number and divide this by n. So that's the mean. And variance. For variance, we will use uh, this expression. And some people prefer just writing V. But just to be specific, let's just call it VAR. And we can write the variance of x as, um, so here the expression is, uh, the idea is we want to see the variability in x. And how do you think about the variability? We will first think about the mean, this number, and think about the difference from the mean, deviation from the mean. Um, and if each x is very far away from the mean, that indicates bigger variability. If each x is close to the mean, then that indicates smaller variability. Um, so we will think about this. And one possible thing one could do is just to add this number across n. And of course, if you do that, this will be just 0, because on average, the deviation from the mean should be 0. So this doesn't tell you much about the variability in x. So the next thing you can think of is just square this distance. So once you write it this way, variance can be interpreted as the average of the squared deviation from the mean. Okay, so that's that. And also another important summary statistic is standard deviation. Um, let's just call it STD of x. And standard deviation is just square root of this number. Square root of variance. Uh, we like to calculate this number because there is square here. So the unit of this number is a bit different from the unit of this number. So to get back to the natural unit, the original unit of x, it's useful to have number um, like this. Because if x is, say, um, well, here it, it actually the x is the individual height. So if the unit is centimeter, here the unit of this number is not centimeter because we squared this number. So to get back to the another the measure of variability in the unit of centimeter, uh, taking square root of variance would be useful. Just one more. Um, summary statistics that we will talk about is covariance. So for covariance is indicates uh, whether two variables are moving in the same direction or not. Um, so given two variables, we can calculate this variable as the average of um, the movement in x and y. And the movement in x and y, we calculate it as the deviation from its mean. And by looking at this formula, these two formula, you will see that covariance between x and x is exactly the same thing as variance of x. 
So these are the four uh, basic summary statistics that you have to be familiar with in um, basic finance. So you need to know uh, the basic idea of this formula and also you need to know how to uh, do some simple um, calculation using uh, this formula and for that And let's just go over a few um, things. Say x is still a variable, and a is some constant. Then if you think about the how the average is calculated, you can easily see that the constant can be written outside the expectation operator. And also, if you have another variable, then this expression can be, uh, and again, b is another constant, b is another constant, and this can be written as a times e of x plus b times e of y. And in terms of covariance, if you have covariance between a times x, b times y, then again, if you think about the formula we just wrote down for covariance, then co constant terms a and b can be written outside, so we will have a times b times covariance between x and y. Um, and if we calculate variance of x and y, the variance was calculated as the average of the squared deviation from its mean. And a is constant, uh, so it doesn't really affect the variability, but since we have square term, in calculating variance, when you take a outside, we will have to write it as a squared variance of x. And finally, if you calculate variance of ax plus by, then somewhere in calculating variance, we square this minus its mean. So since we have to square something that includes this term, we will have three terms that involves ax, another term about by, another term that involves x and y, which will be covariance. Um, so this will be um, written as a squared variance of x, two times ab, covariance between x and y, and b squared variance of y. Or perhaps you can look at this as the covariance between, going back to here, covariance between ax plus by and ax plus by. And you can derive at this formula from that direction as well. So either way, if you go back to the um, how each of these things is defined, you can easily verify that this uh, relationship is satisfied. Okay. Um, now, the, let me emphasize this part that this we are still taking x post perspective. That is, all these formula, uh, they have uh, they are not related to the random variable. This is just how each of this concept is defined. So when you think of average, covariance, and variance, um, 
this is always true. That is, if you uh, go back to our example, so if you have 100 observation and compute the average value and variance and covariance, then this thing should be satisfied exactly. For example, if you calculate covariance between, say, 10 times individual height and 5 times model's height, then it should be exactly the same as 10 times 5 times covariance between individual height and model's height in your data. So these are all algebraic relationships. So there is nothing complicated um, in this formula itself. Now when we take the ex ante perspective, things will be, there will be more things to say, but at least at this point, these are just algebra, some mathematical formula without any statistical interpretation.